we went hiking in the Red River Gorge. And I had been there before with my wife, but we, we went we went downhill. Well, we decided to go uphill and I found another trail and the trail it um it was all stairs, man. It was like the, the stair master from hell. It was horrible. Mm. I ended up getting winded very easily. And and the reason I get winded is is I I don't spend time uh, worrying about and exercising cardio. I just don't do it. Now, John does. Ashley does. I don't. <laughs> so I pay the price. But... Don Noble Life, how is your Thursday? Mine's going pretty good. I'm off my regular job. At least I'm trying to be off. And if someone calls, I'll I'll answer the phone. Um, but I have something I want to discuss with you, and I'm hoping that you'll take a few more minutes and hear me out. And uh, this has something to do with life. And at the end of the day, um, life consists of several things. One of them, one of the big things, is uh, your your spiritual walk, uh, your mental, uh, your, your your mental capacity, or your ability to harness your mental capacity, and your physical. You know, uh, how are you treating your body? What are you eating? What are you putting in? And and one of the things that I've been dwelling on and thinking about is sowing and reaping. Planting seed is uh, something that we all do, whether we like it or not, whether we know it or not. We plant seeds every day. Uh, and one of the things that, that Jesus said in John chapter 12, verse, uh, verse 22, verse 23, Jesus said the hour is come that the Son of Man should be glorified. Verily, I say unto you, except the corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abides alone. But if it die, it brings forth much fruit. He that loves life shall lose it, and he that hates his life in this world shall keep it until eternal, until life eternal. You know, um, that struck me. I read that, I don't know, last week at some point, and I just couldn't get it out of my head. And I don't know if you've had that before where you read something and you just can't get it out of your head. If, if you want to get stronger, uh, you have to build endurance. I know if I were to start running right now, because I'm not a runner, I'm a walker, uh, and I... I I'm a bodybuilder of sorts. I mean, I'm not competing, but I compete against myself. I, I want to get stronger and I want to live longer. I want to be healthier. I, I like the the rush that I get when I get the endorphin endorphins are kicking in and the human growth hormone. It's all good, man. Um, but if I were to run, I probably wouldn't last a quarter mile. <laughs> I'd be huffing and puffing. I remember a uh, year... A year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, John Shane, my daughter, uh, Ashley, we, uh, my son, uh, Rob, and, and my son-in-law, I think it was, uh, yeah, Ryan was there. We went hiking in the Red River Gorge, and I had been there before with my wife, but we, we, went, we went downhill. We decided to go uphill, and I found another trail, and the trail, it... Um, it was all stairs, man. It was like the, the stair master from hell. It was horrible. Mm. I ended up getting winded very easily. And and the reason I get winded is, is I, I don't spend time uh, worrying about and exercising cardio. I just don't do it. Now, John does. Ashley does. I don't. <laughs> So I paid the price. But, you know, uh, 
the, on the other side of that coin, I, I do take the time and I exercise and I build muscle and the more I build. And so when you, one thing that if you didn't know is that when building muscle, uh, you don't build muscle without breaking down the fibers of your muscle. Uh, that's how muscle grows is by breaking down muscle fibers. And so when you exercise in, and you really stress your muscles or when you're doing a bench press and you really stress your, your pectorals, uh, you're actually breaking muscle fibers. And when you give the body a chance to rest and repair, it actually builds up. Now it's a slow process. It's not like it's not like you can break down your muscles today and tomorrow you're 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 jacked. You know it doesn't doesn't quite work that way. Uh, and that's the same thing with life and anything you do, man. I mean, diet. You know, eating the ketogenic lifestyle. You know, it's not like you know you spent the last five years eating crap. In getting fat, and I'm sorry, I hope that doesn't offend anyone. Well, I'm not trying to offend anyone, but it is what it is. Come on, guys. Um, If you're overweight, you're fat. It didn't happen overnight. You did this by sowing into your life crap. Eating garbage, eating sugar, eating high, high fructose corn syrup. Drinking Coke, just empty, empty calories, man. Sugars, eating candy. I mean, I've got examples around here that I can point to. I'm like, why are you destroying your body? It's it's one bite at a time. It's one piece of candy at a time. It's it's you know, I got someone in my family that his his teeth is rotting out of his head. Well, what are you eating? What do you do every day? Yeah, okay, every day. And I got another person in my family that that wants to lose weight, but they continue to eat garbage. It's sowing and reaping, friend. It's every day, every moment. If if you stop snacking, if you eat high high healthy fats, um, if you eliminate the carbohydrates practically, you know, get twenty net carbs or less. And I know some people would disagree with the net carb part. But if you're at 20 net carbs or less, it'll change your life. Is it going to require commitment? Yes. Is it going to be easy? No. Do you think Christ dying and, and, and laying his life down for your sin and my sin, you think that was easy? It was not. Do you think anything worth anything in life is easy? It's not. Who said life is easy? I, one of my kids once said, that's not fair. I hate it when I hear that. <laughs> I'm a cancer survivor. It's not fair that I had cancer. Is it fair that I survived and other people don't? Is it, How fair is that? How about 2000, 2008 when I lost everything? You know, uh, the, the housing market crashed around me. I was self-employed. I lost everything. How fair is that? Life isn't fair. But, but one thing that's consistent is sowing and reaping. Is, is when you start sowing seeds of, of good health, you start sowing seeds of exercise every day, you know you're not going to see immediate results, but you're going to start feeling it, right? If, once, you, once you get down there and you, you do the, the flies, right, or the bench press, or you start doing squats, uh, you're going to start feeling it. And that's good pain. Pain is good. Pain means you're alive, and uh, who I forget who said it, but pain is, is weakness leaving the body. Pain's good. Joint pain is not good. <laughs> if, you, if you have joint pain, you're doing something wrong. Uh, but muscle pain is great. Uh, that, that means you're alive. You should embrace muscle pain. Uh, you know, if, if you want to get better in, uh, in your area of health, you're going to be hungry sometimes. Uh, if you're too hungry, you're not having enough fat. Now, I would recommend bulletproof coffee in the morning. Google that. Or message me. I'd be happy to help you with that. Uh, I'd recommend the discipline. Having a disciplined life, man. Every day. Every day you get up. uh, You you get your coffee. You read your Bible. You study a book to get the the brain working. Uh, You know, you go exercise. You walk twice a day. You know, just constant. Just A, B, C. It requires discipline, friend. And... One thing when Jesus was saying that is he said, unless a corn of wheat fall to the ground and die, it's not useful. 
you know, um, we have to realize that in order for us to get anywhere, we got to plant seed. In order for us to accomplish our goal, we've got to plant the seed, right? Uh, plant the seed of good, good health. Plant the seed of exercising. We got to plant the seeds in our in our future, right? In your investing. How? What are you gonna do if you know? Some of you believe life's gonna end in 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 five years. I don't know. I don't know what life brings. I mean, for all I know, I'll be around for thirty years. I'll be eighty, and I don't want to depend on my my kids or grandkids to 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 take care of me and my wife or change my diapers. God forbid. <laughs> but you know, uh, we need to plan. We need to sow seeds now. We need to invest now. You know, why not invest in your health? Be very healthy and work until you die. At eighty, I'll be you know vibrant and doing what I love to do, which at this point is 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 coaching people, is leading leaders. You know, and you know why not be in a position to do that, right? Okay, I'm back. I had a, I had to hit pause because I had a phone call. So um, I want to encourage you before I wrap up wrap up this video uh, to take a step of faith in whatever direction you're trying to go in. You know, whether it's weight losing weight, you know, weight loss, dietary, uh, new job, um, investing. You're not going to get anywhere until you take that first step. You are not going to get into that pool until you jump in. Um, I know in Minnesota when I was taking some swimming lessons as a kid, that water was cold, man. I dipped a toe in the water. Nah, I'm not going in there. <laughs> There's no way. Uh, I dipped a toe in the water again. I'm like, screw that. I'm not going in there. You have to jump in. You know, you have to commit, get in there and do it. You know, um, when it goes to working out, you go and you start doing something. When it comes to getting a new job, getting an increase, all right, how marketable are you? What have you done? Have, do you have a degree? Get a degree. Quit making excuses. W-G-U. Look it up. Or, or message me. That way I can give you a link and I, they, they'll give me some some bucks to buy some goodies from them. <laughs> but you know, quit making excuses and make it happen, right? Take a step, move that direction, do something, follow that direction. If you're, if you're so tired and, or heavy that you can't do it, roll that direction, do something. You have to start moving. Otherwise, you're just going to die where you are, right? How, how, how are you, how you going to get a new job if you don't even look for one? How many resumes have you sent out? How many jobs have you looked at? How many people have you talked to? If you're in sales, I've been there. I've done that. How many people have you talked to? How many leads are you working? I, I remember, last story, when I was in sales, I worked leads exclusively. Um, and I would, I would only, I'd only get five or ten leads a week. And I was successful. My closing ratio was about 30%. Um, but then uh, I went to a convention and I met a top producer and I said, man, how, how are you doing this? How, how are you getting, how are you closing, you know, 15 sales a week? I mean, what are you doing? He's like, well, what's your ratio right now? I said, 30%. He said, okay, times what? Times 10 leads. That's three sales. So what if you double it? So I get six. What if you triple it? It's a ratio, Right. I had to plant that extra seed in faith, get the leads, do the work, do the activities, and bam, things happened. Uh, and then, and then, uh, the market crashed. <laughs> I lost everything. Had to start all over again. Um, so anyway, uh, folks, I can ramble on about this topic, but sowing and reaping is is. I'm not talking about prosperity gospel. Will you prosper? Yeah, I, I think I think you'll get something out of sowing into whatever area you're looking for. You're going to reap something. If you sow to the wind, you're going to reap a whirlwind, according to the Bible. If you sow to the flesh, you're going to reap corruption. 
If you sow to the Spirit, you're going to reap life everlasting. In fact, if you sow to the flesh, you're going to reap eternity, eternal damnation, according to Scripture. If you sow to the Spirit, you're going to sow eternal heaven, eternity with God. And when, you, when it comes to sowing and reaping, the result of sowing is an exponential growth. It's exponential to whatever you're sowing. You don't get one for one when you sow. You get one for many. When you sow one, you're going to get many. Friend, when you sow into your life what you're looking for, you're going to have exponential growth. Okay? I would say right now, sow into your spirit the Word of God. Sow into your spirit faith that Christ died on the cross for you and live for Him. God bless you all. Thanks for listening.